Hello everyone, it's Matt Hatter. I'm back here with an updated version of my destination selector. It's the selector with two buttons per one slice, which allows you to essentially double the amount of destinations that your train station has, your minecart station, without using up too much horizontal space in your station. So it's equivalent to the current uh, logic design doubled vertically. So both sets of logic share a repeat line, and that repeat line is what's going to limit the horizontal travel to 15 slices. And the repeaters sure compact this system. So let's take a look at its functionality. Ooh. In a simple four destination, you would take up two slots, and you would have indicator lights that change based on button press and it resets top to bottom, bottom to top and you can increase it to a variety of sizes this is 8, here's 16 so your station would have upwards of 16 destinations the 30 section slice is here so once again you can select specific destinations and you'll probably run out of rail before you get to uh, using this next one. I was thinking of the Death Star when I was building this because it was dark and there was red and, red and black uh, from the redstone lights. But basically you can tie in modules. It doesn't have to be the 30 section in this case. Uh, so each of these four modules are 30 destinations. The reset lines on three corners are tied using a two-way repeater and I'll detail this if you'd like detail the explanation of a two-way repeater at the end of this video so the destinations go upwards of 120 so if you wanted to have 120 destinations from your station uh, this might provide means of doing that and uh, without having to go up and down the stairs the Difficulty, you'll find, is probably going to come in how you're going to utilize space best, uh, as the logic does take up uh, plenty of room. So you'd be putting your PEZ dispenser departing in the bottom here, or in the corners, uh, so that you can utilize that space best. Alright, so let's see how you might connect some tracks. So I haven't gone through... The, the task of connecting all of them, so I've connected half of them to get an idea. So when you're selecting tracks on the bottom or on the top, there's a number of torches that you can pull off of. On the top, you can pull off these signal torches. Uh, in the case of the logic gates, there are several torches in the back. There's even these blocks with redstone wire that you can pull off of with either a redstone repeater or a torch. And the signal is also propagated in the middle of the top where you can put a, a torch on top of some of the blocks up here and pull signal off. So basically you just need to look at uh, any of the output. So on the redstone uh, logic, so on any of the uh, logic here or here because those are the RSNOR latches. So in the case of the bottom destinations, these bottom 15 destinations of this module, I went ahead and uh, attached the redstone wire uh, to the tracks in a manner that it pulls off the signal torches here. So to illustrate what I'm talking about, when you select this first destination, it turns on this light which actually just supplies signal to my uh, signal torch there and I'm just pulling off on the redstone repeating it and attaching it to my track so now when I come along here I'll turn off in the case of the next set of destinations I'll go ahead and hit the next slice uh, so four I'll be pulling off of this block. So this block is currently powered when selected 
and using a redstone repeater I can attach it to track directly. So there's a number of different ways of doing this, uh, but basically you end up with two lines of turn tracks uh, for half the destinations. So on the case of the other half of the destinations, you'd have something that repeats this either on the, the top or on the back of this destination selector. So your departing might have something where there's a turn track, and this is basically just a binary system, so whenever anything on these slices is active, then I pull off and dump it into a line. That line repeats over to this track and will turn appropriately. So for instance, since a destination on the top is, is selected, when I depart, it's going to go straight up to the top and then go out to the destination. In the case of something on the bottom, that line becomes active because I have signal right here coming out onto that, that line. And it's telling it to turn in this direction and then go out to my destination. So basically, when you scale, when you scale to a larger size, uh, upwards to 120, it actually takes the time it to exit that it would in a smaller station because you basically divided in half the, the, the distance that it has to travel. Uh, so in the case of four I would set up a, another track turn system and and then have a, a binary selector essentially say okay out of these four tracks using three of the signals, which one is it? So one thing to note on that, that process though, you want to have, you want to use a line or invert a line so that only one could be active from that line. It's very important. So this is just uh, an example of how you might, might do it. And so when you would depart, you would take less time and I wouldn't have to go through all those stations and loop back. Alright, so as I promised I was going to talk about two-way repeaters a little bit. So if you have a signal, and I use this to connect repeat signal for different modules, you can go ahead and hit a button and it activates uh, a block on the, the other side. So it's just when this is on, these lines are off, and this line is on. Uh, so I, I, I left these in here just in case somebody wanted to see them. There's a lot of other videos that talk about this. In the particular case that I used, I, I just came out with this. You can make this a little bit more com uh, compact, but in the case of my circuit modules, uh, the reset line, is offset by five and I tie in the reset line by using uh, one torch to bring signal to this line and another torch to bring signal back. The, the cross and the loop here uh, and then it allows me to bend over here. So you can make it a little bit smaller but this is what I built. So uh, it, it allows me to, say, have signal for my reset and activate that block. And that's that.